All right, it's time for another quiz video. I brought the quizzes back on the channel like a month or two ago, I think it was, where we did the first round of the 2015 NHL Draft. And you guys showed a ton of support on that video. A lot of you said you really missed the quizzes, so I figured why not do one today? And we're gonna stick with the theme of the drafts. We're gonna do the 2014 NHL Draft first round. I'm hoping to get at least 25 of 30. I don't expect to do quite as good on this one as I did on the 2015 draft, just because, I mean, the 2015 draft is super memorable. Only got one wrong on that one. I don't expect to do that well on this one, but I mean, we'll see how it goes. Let me know down below in the comment section which draft you guys would like to see me do next, because the further we go back, that's when it can, you know, start to get a little bit more difficult, and maybe even like the 2018 and 2019 drafts could be difficult because a lot of those guys haven't even broke into the NHL yet. Um, but yeah, let me know which draft you guys would like to see next. As always, the link to this quiz will be down below in the description. If you guys would like to go try it for yourself before you watch me do it, you can go ahead and do that. And then come back, watch the video, and comment what you got as your score down below in the comment section. Whatever you want to do, link to the quiz is down there. And yeah, I guess let's not waste any more time and get into this. I'm probably going to be doing a lot of quizzes here over the next couple of weeks because, again, if you guys watched yesterday's video, I am trying to do an upload streak here, so... Quiz videos help out with that because they don't take a long time to produce and I don't need to come up with some crazy video idea. Just kind of get to sit down, have fun, relax, and talk with you guys. So let's get into this. The first overall pick from the Barry Colts to the Florida Panthers. It's Aaron Ekblad. Super unfortunate what happened to Ekblad this season. This was like the first year where he really looked like a first overall pick caliber player. He was having a Norris caliber season. Again, just really unfortunate that he had to go down. Hopefully he can bounce back and be better than ever next season. Second overall, Sam Reinhardt. Third overall is Leon Dreisaitl. Fourth overall, Sam Bennett, newest Florida Panther, one of the newer Panthers. And he's fitting in pretty nicely. I think he has, what, like three goals already as a member of Florida. So that's nice to see, and I'm sure Florida is happy with that as well, considering they gave up a pretty good haul to bring Sam Bennett in. The Islanders with the fifth overall pick from the Generals, Michael Dalcole. I think at this point we can probably say Michael Delcole is a bust. If he does become a consistent NHLer, not going to be a top six guy in my opinion. Uh, I think we can probably give up on Michael Delcole at this point. I mean, the 2014 draft was a long time ago now. Uh, now after Michael Delcole, so sixth overall. I wish it showed the numbers. It doesn't. It just shows where they went and where they were drafted from. But this is Jake Vertanen, uh, Carolina from Red Deer. That's Hayden Fleury, Toronto or Hayden Fleury actually newest Anaheim Duck, and I think in one of his first games with the Ducks, he led the team in ice time. So that's nice to see him getting an opportunity in Anaheim that he just wasn't going to get in Carolina because they have so many good defensemen. Uh, but nonetheless, Toronto Maple Leafs' William Nylander, who I said was the best contract on the Leafs in yesterday's video. A lot of people didn't agree with me on that, but like I said, I feel like Nylander is sort of underrated at this point. Nikolai Ehlers is up next, who himself I feel like is having a pretty underrated season, not being talked about a whole lot considering how good he's been. Next up is the Ducks, so we're at number 10 now. Nick Ritchie? Yes it is. Nashville, that's Kevin Fiala, obviously now in the Minnesota Wild. Um, so Ritchie was 10, Fiala 11, now we're at 12. Again, I have to like kind of count because it doesn't say the number. So 12th overall, that's Brendan Perlini, Red Wing legend. I don't even know where Perlini is playing right now. I'm guessing he's playing over in Europe because I don't think he got an NHL job. Um, I feel like he's another guy where at this point we can probably safely say that he's a bust. Uh, Washington Capitals up next. Uh, one of the newest Red Wings, Jacob Vrana. Poor Jacob Vrana, man. I know he's getting more ice time in Detroit that he was getting in Washington, and I'm sure he's happy about that. But like, I think the other game he was playing five on five with Rasmussen and Filpola. Probably a bit of a downgrade from where he was playing and who he was playing with in Washington, like Oshi and Backstrom and those guys. And actually, news just came out today that Dylan Larkin, who is at number 15, is likely going to be out for the rest of the season. So as a Red Wings fan, I'm down bad right now. I'm, like, I don't even want to watch any of the games for the rest of the year unless Joe Valeno plays. Uh, there just really isn't much to watch for right now. Let's uh, keep on track though here. Uh, Julius Honka is Dallas Stars pick. He's another guy who, at this point, you know, Safely say he's probably a bust. Um, so Larkin was 15, so now we're at number 16. Columbus from the USNTDP. Believe that's Sonny Milano. Yes, it is. Not having the greatest season in Anaheim. He's a guy that I thought could, you know, potentially break out this year because he looked really good with Anaheim the ending stretch of last season. But 
Doesn't look like that's going to happen. So the Philadelphia Flyers now from the Calgary Hitmen. I think that's Travis Sanheim. Minnesota from the US NDP. That's Alex Tuck, who's obviously now in the Golden Knights. Tampa Bay from Sarnia. This player who, not even going to bother saying his name. Chicago from the Green Bay Gamblers of the USHL. Okay. Kind of drawn a blank here for the first time. I don't recall who that is. So we'll just continue on and maybe come back to that. We got five minutes and 40 seconds left here. So we got plenty of time. St. Louis Blues from Guelph. Another Red Wing. Robbie Fabry, who himself is injured like many other players in the Red Wings this year, unfortunately. The Penguins, that's Kasperi Kapanen, who obviously was on Pittsburgh. That's who we get drafted by. Traded to Toronto as part of the Phil Kessel deal and now is back on the Penguins. Colorado from the Red Deer Rebels. I know this one. He's like a pretty big draft bus. I think it's Connor Bleakley. I don't know how to say his name. Spell his name Bleakley? Connor Bleakley. There we go. If you didn't know, Connor Bleakley was drafted obviously here in the first round in 2014. And it didn't take long for Colorado to realize they made a mistake there because he re entered the draft as soon as the 2016 draft. And then I think he was like a fourth or a fifth round pick by the Blues or something like that. So. Not a good pick there by the Avalanche, especially when you consider who went after. Even Jared McCann's a solid player, but uh, this guy. One of the best wingers in the league, David Pasternak, drafted just, what, two spots after Connor Bleakley, who, yeah, didn't work out so well. Hindsight is 20-20, but that's just how the draft works, I guess. The Montreal Canadiens now from the Saskatoon Blades. Um, it's not Mete, he's too young for 2014. Um... No Juleson? No, no Juleson was 2015. Is that our Terry Lekkinen? Lekkinen? I If it is, I probably... Lekkinen? Don't know how to spell his name anyway. Um, that's another one we'll come back to. The San Jose Sharks from the Sarnia Sting. That's Nikolai Goldobin, I believe. Yep. Who was obviously drafted by San Jose. Played most of his NHL career in Vancouver. And I believe now he's playing in the KHL, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, the New York Islanders from Windsor, Josh Hosang, another guy who at this point, okay, I can't spell, Hosang, there we go, another guy at this point who we can probably give up on, I feel like he hasn't really gotten the opportunity that he deserves, like there's obviously skill there and stuff, but there's obviously some underlying issues as to why he's never been able to stick in the NHL, and it is what it is, that's just the case sometimes with young players, he's on waivers a couple of times and hasn't even been picked up for any from any team for free, so... Yeah, again, at this point, probably time to give up on Hosang. Um, now, the Los Angeles Kings from Moto Hockey, that's Adrian Kempe, who is having an okay season, if I believe. I think he's having an okay season. Or am I thinking of Alex Iafalo? Yeah, I'm thinking of Alex Iafalo, who got the contract extension. I don't know why I was thinking of Kempe there. Kind of got those guys mixed up. Last pick of the first round, the New Jersey Devils. I believe that's John Quinville. Quinville? I think. Don't know how to spell it, even if it is. Quenville? Yeah. We'll try it one more time. Quenville? Yeah, I don't know. So we're 27 of 30. The only ones we didn't get so far are Chicago's draft pick from the Green Bay Gamblers, Montreal's from the Saskatoon Blades, and New Jersey's from the Brandon Wheat Kings. I'll sit here for a few seconds at least and try to think, but I don't, I don't think I'm going to get them. Chicago from the Gamblers, like... I'm not a big USHL follower, so um, I can't see a team be like, oh, this guy came from there, or this guy came from here, sort of like I can for you know, the CHL, where the Mooseheads, I know all the guys came from there, Timo Meyer, Nico Heischer, McKinnon, Jaren, Ehlers, those guys. Um, yeah. Saskatoon Blades from Mon to drafted to Montreal. Again, I think we tried Lekkanen, wasn't him. It's not Juleson because he was 2015. It's not Mete. I don't think it's one of the goalies that they have. It's not Caden Primo. It's not Kale Flurry. I'm trying to think of like young-ish players in the Montreal system because while players drafted in 2015, 2014, sorry, are still relatively young, they're not like prospects. If they're not an NHL player by now, it's unlikely they ever will be. Um, we got a minute 30 left. I guess I'll just click give up. I wanted to get 25 out of 30 at least, so 27 of 30, I guess, isn't that bad. We'll see who the players we missed are. Chicago, Nick Schmaltz. That is one that I should have gotten 1,000%. 
Nick Schmaltz. Obviously now in the Coyotes, but man, I should have got that. That's a notable player that I missed. Nikita Sherback, I wouldn't have thought of him. And John Quinville, I was right about that. I just couldn't spell his name, so I guess kind of 28 out of 30. But uh, you got to be able to spell to get the points. So not bad. 27 out of 30. I mean, I'll take it again. Like I said, I just wanted to get 25 out of 30. So I'm happy. If you guys tried the quiz for yourself, be sure to get down there in the comment sections below. And let me know how you did. Did you do better? Did you do worse? Who'd you miss? Where'd you struggle? All that type of stuff. Let me know how you did down below in the comment section. And like I said at the start of the video, let me know some other quizzes you guys maybe want me to try some other drafts or maybe a quiz that has nothing to do with drafts. All your thoughts, let me know down below. If you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more quizzes, be sure to drop a like. That is the best way to show your support. And most importantly, if this was your first time checking out the channel and you want more NHL content just like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm going to attempt to upload every day up until the start of the playoffs. So if you guys want to be along for the ride, hit that subscribe button and I will talk to you all in tomorrow's video.